and today's spiritual video is about taking the time to see your inner beauty because I was thinking about I turned 60 this year and it's been kind of weird thinking you're 60 and you know I'm getting wrinkle more wrinkles and I'm uh, uh, you know everything around us is are you taking care I'm thinking am I taking good enough care of myself which is good I mean I'm exercising and how am I eating and I'm kind of ex you know looking at the outer shell maybe more than um, the inner and so I was thinking like that's kind of what our culture does we so as women in particular look at am I beautiful enough am I am I, am I thin enough am I gonna be a, is that man gonna find me attractive and do I have too many wrinkles uh, um, what makeup will make me look better? What what can make me restore that? And and um, I thought this morning, like, am I taking care of my inner beauty as much as I'm taking care of my outer beauty? And what would it look like to take care of that inner beauty and to start seeing that not just in myself, but start really changing the focus on seeing the inner beauty in others? So... My question today is, isn't it time to take care of your inner beauty? And what would that look like? And so today I, I ask you to take a moment to just think about something that you love about who you are on the inside and focus on that. And um, take a moment to go in, maybe do a little meditation. And then I ask you to start seeing your sisters in a different way, your your friends. and. And when you notice something about them, try to not make the first thing you say is, oh God, you look really beautiful today. Say something like, you know, I noticed you yesterday with your mom and, and what a beautiful interaction that was and how your heart was so present for her. Or I noticed how you make nurturing food that really nurtures your family. Think about what it is that you love about the people around you that's that inner beauty that really matters. And let's change the focus so that we can start making people realize that that inner beauty is really more important than that outer beauty. And Sabonf used to tell me that the woman that had the most wrinkles was considered to be the most beautiful in the tribe. And I tell you, I love that because that means you've lived life fully and you've, and you've smiled and you've cried and you've shared that on your face and inside of who you are. So that's it for today. I hope you have a good one and um, go to livingyourgifts.com to find out more about our, our programs and what's coming up next.